I'm starting? Yeah, you can start. Okay. Okay, so I just want to open this up with the fact that I don't know if everybody here watching knows what happened. So I'm going to go into, you have here something, but should I just talk about what happened? Yeah, you can, you can start with that. Okay, so firstly I want to say that when I talk about this industry in any negative way, um, it's not because I think the industry is negative. Um, I have received a lot of support. If you go on my pages, you see that I get support all the time. Um, there's a lot of people who love what I do. There's a lot of people who give me upward praise, who've lifted me up. Um, there's specific people who have gone above and beyond to help me, guide me, give me advice when I need it, right? Um, they, and it's not, I'm not saying criticize, but like they'll say, oh, you know, this would be better if um, you, did, you did this, or you use this, or you, whatever, try this product, or try this way. And um, that's amazing. That's why we're here, right? So Constructive criticism. Correct. Like, you're helping me, and that is the best thing I can ever receive, is help from people, strangers online, and it just becomes a friendship. You develop a relationship and you network, and that's why this is an amazing place. Um, being as that may, like being on social media, it puts you in the spotlight. So yeah, of course you're going to get negative people and you're going to get criticism. And I get it every single day. I just said this on my stories on Instagram. Um, there's not a day that goes by that somebody doesn't say something negative to me. So yeah, I, I do ignore a lot of it. Most, I'd say 99% of it. Here's why this is different, right? So what happened is... I'm in private Facebook groups that are industry specific within the tile industry. Those groups contain industry leaders, CEOs, uh, co-workers, um, you know, manufacturers, reps. representatives, etc. And the list goes on. Um, these groups claim, and I don't want to group all the groups in because there is a number of groups that have a zero tolerance policy for this kind of stuff, right? But why am I addressing this? And I'm telling you is because these are private industry groups that you go to be a part of for a specific reason. A couple months back, I had a problem with the Tile Geeks group, and I chose not to address it here. I chose to let it go. But the same instance happened, right? So now it's like this is the second time, and I just said, you know what, enough is enough. And um, it went really far this time, and it got really disgusting. So. Basically, it's different because I'm in an industry-specific group. It's private. There's leaders in there. There's um, other industry professionals. And it's not just one comment. It's continued. It's ongoing. It's the same people. And at this point, it's harassment. Um, Defamation. You, know, you go onto my page, and you take a picture off of my page without my consent, and you post it in a private group, which I am a part of, and you know that. Um, what is your intent there? You know, that's a big thing. My intent when I post a picture on my page is I'm sharing with my, with people who want to see it. So if you don't follow me and you don't like me, going to my page and taking a picture, that right there is ill intent. So what are you trying to do? You know, and I just want to put this out there and I'll say it again at the end of this live is I have everybody who is watching this right now, or anybody who doesn't like me, likes me, go into every single group and please search my name. Find a post where I have commented negatively towards somebody. Without being uh, attacked first. You know, there's lies. There was lies being told about me in Tile Geeks. There's lies being still being said about me in Tile Mafia right now, going on, that I've attacked other females. From the second I showed up on the groups and I made my first post, I was attacked. I made a post. You don't have to comment. You don't have to like me. You can just move on with your life. I don't expect everyone to like me. I don't expect everybody to clap for me because I'm here. Just move on. Just go on with your life and that's it, you know? You engage. You're condescending. Um, and if you're consistently showing up on 
posts that I make and making negative comments, you're now just a bully and you're harassing me. Not okay. Even What's posts you don't make. Posts other people make correct. about you. Exactly. They show up out of the woodwork. I never have done that. You will never find me doing that. Never once. I don't even go back and retaliate against these people and make negative comments about them or say anything bad about them when they do post. Never. I would never do that. So, I, I just, I don't get it. But, anyway, so what happened, Tana Mafia... Um, who was it? Mark Simonelli, right? He decided to go on my page, take a picture of me with the tile cutter that I got and the bridge saw. Posted in Tile Mafia and is claiming that he's posting it because I'm short. I don't know what I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't understand what is the point of that, but okay, you know, whatever. Um, He's claiming his intention was not to highlight your body or degrade your camp. But that's my his, body is my height. I'm four foot eleven. So like, I mean, I didn't choose to be four foot eleven, but here I am, like four foot eleven. You know, it I is what it is. Like you at four foot eleven. Okay, let's I'm pass. Sure myself. You add. Uh, so basically, you know, this post was made. Um, it was screenshotted off of her personal account. Yes, she also posted in GTP, but what does that have to do with Tile Mafia? Anyway. Um, so we're going we're gonna to read off, actually Shannon is going to read off some of the comments on, on just this one of three or the four first, yeah. particular threads that were, were going on on Friday. There's one that's up, like Shannon said, now, that was up, posted Friday, that's posted Saturday, and it's still up today. You can go look at it from Ian Gerberson. All right. So we're going to read some of the comments for everybody to hear. They're going to come right out of her mouth. Read All the right. name. So... First one. I already said Mark Simonelli who started the post. Matt Coker. He said, I guess if sex doesn't sell, this would be the perfect thank you, minus the camel toe and tights says otherwise. Also, I've been in a relationship for 16 years, and whenever her toe is showing, I say something. She tucks that bitch in, but hey, she got this, she got this far for free shit. Jamie Starsky. I've got titties, and I don't expect anything for free. I let my work speak for me, not my looks. Claim to be an artist and a tile setter, too. Wade Johnson. What nice smiles. I guess re referring to my uh, genitals. Sean Roddy. Did someone say snapper? He's also an admin. Ian Guyverson. Hashtag tile celebrity. Was made for people who get free products for paying the marketing. For paying the marketing and can't tell me sex don't sell. There's females with class in the trade that don't wear yoga pants and sport bras to market. Just explain, maybe explain the circumstances of that post. Okay, so um, for context, uh, if you haven't seen the post on my page, I received um, a tile cutter, a snap cutter, and a bridge saw. I unboxed it in my garage. After you got home from the gym. After I got home from the gym. Not that I should even have to explain this, but um, I took a picture with it. I just, what is different from me taking pictures with tools in my own garage and all the other things I see in the, in the groups of people taking pictures with swag, with tools that they get, um, et cetera, et cetera. What is different? This is on my personal page. Like, I posted it in, in, in certain groups um, that I know it wouldn't be a problem because those admins actually moderate their page. Um, but I didn't post it in time. But everybody else says that you're asking for it. Yeah, I'm asking for it because I posted this. Like, these are my clothes. Like, I wear the, I, I go to the gym very often. Um, I wear gym clothes. I like to take care of myself, and I wear clothing that fits me. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. Yeah. Um, Josh Martin. I wish I got free stuff, but I don't have titties and a fat ass. Rex Riley. This is where it gets really weird. Weird as fuck. I can't stand girls like this. Might as well be a hooker. Definitely pink toe planned. I'm not even sure what that means. That's why I only respect three women that set. Take the pussy toe and get the fuck out, tramp. Block that cum bucket. So, with some of those comments highlighted, right? Um, and, and that being said... You know, let's go to Tile Mafia, right? Let's, let's forget that 
they didn't take the picture of her off her personal page and post it in there for Fuck It Friday. Let's say it was just posted in there. Well, according to Tile Mafia, right, here's the rules. Anything goes on Fuck It Friday, but according to rule number four of that group, you can post anything you want as Friday as long as it isn't degrading. Keep in mind when commenting also. One day only, the posts are removed on Saturday. To the admins of Tile Mafia, Sean Roddy, Ian Gerberson, and Jim Richards, you don't think that fucking post, part of my language, was degrading? And you come on her personal page to defend Tile Mafia? And, and then you can't even you can't even come and talk to me as a man. You'll post all over her part page, but when I show up, you have nothing to say. You are not a, a, a good representative of this industry. You are exactly what's wrong with this industry for allowing. It. And anybody who's in those groups that sees this and observes and doesn't say anything about it, you're just as bad. People only remember the bad. I'm going to tone myself down now. You have, the, you have the, the gall, every single one of you, to address a woman, but you won't address me. Sorry. The, the interesting part about all of that is that um, some of these groups, they want to, you know, specifically Time Mafia, they say how they raise money for charity. Um, I'm sorry, I don't care how much good you try to do. If you are walking through this world with poor character and no moral compass, are you just trying to cancel out what kind, like what you actually are by masking it with raising money for charity? You're, it's hypocrisy. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so, and the same thing happened in Tile Thieves. You have people who are very um, well liked in the industry. And um, they stood by and they didn't do anything. Well, I was harassed. Bradford Denny, Mark Christensen. And like, and allowed lies to be posted about me. And I messaged them privately and I asked them to remove it. And I wasn't even answered. So These are I, industry leaders. Yeah. When I say that, you know, this industry has a lot of negativity, it's because then I'm turned around and I'm told by these same admins that they can't monitor everything that goes on in their group. Tile Mafia has 3,000 members. How many people are admins? There's a few people who are admins. My audience is... 116,000 on, on Instagram alone. Just on Instagram alone. alone. Like, if I pull up my Instagram, my messages that I have, requests, I have 88 right now. That doesn't include the unread messages in my general inbox that I get to almost every single day. People who I've given out my personal cell phone number to, to answer any questions that they have. Or when they have, when they have um, specific product questions and I defer it to any reps that I know. This, you know, you, you're going to come to me and you tell me you can't moderate your group. You should not be a part of that group. You shouldn't be an admin if you can't handle it. And there's four of you guys, five of you guys, however many. What? That's your excuse? That's what you tell me? You can't see everything? When then I go in your group, there's maybe one or two posts a day? You're lying. That's a lie. Don't lie to me. It's easier to do nothing than mm -hmm. to stand up exactly. and do the right thing. And that's what it is. And then there's these people who are like, oh, well, you put these guys who are, in, who are these admins on a pedestal. Like, they're, they're, they're liars, they have a low moral compass, and they would rather stand by and allow this to happen than actually do something about it. In my opinion, there should be a zero tolerance policy. If I was a company in this industry, or a leader, or I sat on a board of anything and I made any, any decisions, I would never be a part of that group. If I saw somebody continuously, like Jamie Starsky, harassing somebody, unprovoked, You'd be kicked out of my group. Let's not mention that the post that's still live right now, what's her name? Shauna, what's her last name? Future? Shauna Broussard of Billboard. You're an industry representative. I sent you a, a, I sent her a message yesterday asking her what her problem is with me, why she feels the need to spread a lie about me 
on a harassing post. This is an industry representative. And you have other manufacturer representatives posting selfies today showing support of the tile mafia. What does that say about your company? That, that your company supports tile mafia that allows sexual harassment and degradation of women in this industry? It's unacceptable. And I just want to pause and answer Matt Pinella here. Um, you know, Matt, you guys are feeding into exactly why these people do this. You're letting them win. For two years, we've turned the other cheek on these people. And it keeps happening again and again and again and again. Matt, I don't know if you were here for the beginning, but I just wanted to tell you, um, this is like, it's so much deeper than um, just like, you know, we post publicly and you and I see eye to eye on this fact that if you're going to post publicly and people are going to, people are going to criticize you. It is what it is. Wait, wait until somebody calls your wife a cumba. Hold on, just wait. So these groups are like industry specific, right, Matt? And like, this is where we go to further our knowledge and to network, you know, when we, and then we go out to industry events together. And um, there's industry representatives and leaders within my industry in these groups. And, um, you know, a lot of companies that I've, I work with and companies that help me on social media, they pay me, they, we work together, we collaborate. So imagine if somebody in that company sees something like this and then decides they don't want to work with me because somebody said something that wasn't true. I can give you no example. I can give you, I have personal knowledge that the Robert J. Gunlock Company, the group of older men, think that Shannon is a falsity and a fake tile setter. So go look up the, def the definition of defamation. They are slandering her name and her brand. And, and my whole thing is that um, I'm for the trades. Like, I used to sit at a desk and I used to do accounting. This industry, right, it's suffering. The majority of people who are in it are over the age of 35. I just want to stop you. Shauna Brassard said that we're gaslighting the tile industry and saying that it's in shambles when it's the most profitable time ever in history based on a tile money podcast. We're not gaslighting this industry. What happens when the baby boomers die? There will be no one left to replace them. There are, there's a FCEF was just created to, to stop the shortage of installers. You think they're going to stop the shortage of installers when things like this go on in our industry? You're out of your goddamn mind. If my kid wanted to get into this industry, I'd tell him, run, the, run as far away as you can. Matt, fuck Facebook groups. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. You're 100% right. But without those Facebook groups, right, Matt, like, there's, there's opportunities that I've been able to um, capitalize on because of those Facebook groups. Because they, they are really great. Um, for being very industry specific. Yeah. They're very we, We've gotten to know and network with some very, very, very highly respected individuals within the tile industry through Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. And Shannon, from the get, was always against the Facebook groups because of how they are today. Yeah. And I pushed her to try to break the mold. Her and I have had fights about making posts in Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. For real. Okay, um, so let's just stay on target here because I, I am always the one who goes off target. Um, so, let's see. We already covered Ian Gerberson. Yeah. The, 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 the thread is still up today in Time Mafia, his thread. That's oh. a picture of him posing. Um, David Pucci. Exactly. Here's she's, a comment from David yeah, Pucci. Exactly. She's an entitled leech posing in front of her man's work, doing a disservice to all of the women in the industry with the skill set and accomplishments worthy of the attention and swag she steals. Bunch of thirsty mofos defending her are too blind to see that they knocking the real women in this business back. I just want to say that, uh, David Pucci, you are less than a man. You are completely less than a man. I know all about you. I know all about every single one of you. And if, if you feel offended or, or threatened at, at this point, it's you know who you are. 
We are a team. We set tile together. I don't know how you guys think that I don't do anything. There, you, what you see is what you get. It's me and him. We don't just set tile. We then create the content. We come home and we edit it. Just to set up in the day takes, I don't know, hours because we have to plan out our entire day. It's not just planning out what we're going to do when we're setting tile. It's planning out the content as well. It's totally different. Like, we need more people because we don't have enough hands. It's extremely difficult. Um, so I don't understand how anybody can think that he films, he sets the tile, he cuts the tile, mixes the pinset, and I just stand there. We, would literally, we wouldn't be able to afford our mortgage. It would take us six weeks to, to make a check. It would never, it would never work. Anyway. Like, it's just not even, the common sense just gone. Um, Ian. He's being very facetious, obviously. Um, should I even read it? Oh my god, I can't believe how sick some of you are. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. I put myself out here on social media for attention, knowing that I get likes for my actions, and all y'all focus on my shorts. I just want, wanted hearts and likes. People are so mean to me. I'm gonna go live to tell internet how bad y'all are here, and I'm just gonna write out a 50 paragraph complaint on how I've been personally attacked. Not for my work or lack thereof, but someone even said I'm wearing a pair of, wait for it, women's boots. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna continue this. You know, you get my point. You know, you get my point. Okay, most important for this live is um, Sean, and I'm really sorry, Sean, if I mess up your last name because McLeod. 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 I don't know. And I apologize. Um, but I want to read his comment because it's amazing. Um, it, I think it addresses a lot of things that people feel, but they don't know how to comment to me properly or whatever. So they just lash out with anger or something nasty. Um, but the way that he says it here is really good. And I think it represents perfectly on both sides. Um, so I'm going to read it. I agree that post was tasteless. Part of being on social media is, ex is exposed to some unpleasantness. As far as how she has been treated, your statement, I feel, is incorrect. He is responding to Chris's comment on my post on my page. So he's responding to Chris. She has been spot spotlighted at coverings, numerous podcasts, and generally been given golden opportunity. I can think of at least 10 women you have worked, who have worked for years to be recognized, and because their Instagram numbers are lower, they have been passed over. Women who do the whole job themselves, most videos I see with Shannon are her installing one tile or showing off free products. Great for her to receive such products. To me, it seems like she is more geared towards the DIY market and that's fine, but no homeowner is going to purchase a $3,500 saw to renovate a bathroom. I say these things with no ill will intended. I wish her any success as I do everybody. I get calls every day asking for advice based on my experience. Ex Experience which has gained from years of hard work and education. This industry does not owe any generation anything. You have to earn it. One does nor become an ex one does not become an expert from tile groups or class. Only in the field addressing problems daily, this is learned. There will always be someone on social media that doesn't agree. Congrats on y'all engagement on y'all's engagement and I wish you both happiness and success. Um, so to start, I just want to answer that because I think that it represents a lot of really good points. Yeah, like I said earlier, oh, it's a losing signal. Okay, McLeod, McLeod, it's pronounced McLeod. Okay, so like I said earlier, obviously when we put ourselves out there, and that goes for everybody who is on social media anywhere, you're, you're bound to get negative comments, messages, whatever. Um, yeah, I get it every day, every single day. Um, and like I said, to me this is different, and correct me if I'm wrong, these are private groups within the industry that contain industry leaders. And I just think that if you're a group of five people adminning a group, you should have some sort of moral compass and understanding that when something is wrong, it's just wrong. Um, like we're not five, I think we all know the difference between right and wrong. 
at this point in time, and um, I think that people should exercise their, you know, adult knowledge of that. So, anyway, um, and we're all in the groups to better our knowledge. I don't do anything that should suggest otherwise to anybody. I've never made any negative comments to anybody. I don't go out and attack people. I don't harass them, and I don't bully them. Like I said, please search my name in every single group that exists today. What you'll find is other people harassing and bullying me. And it's the same people over and over and over again. Um, so you, you say she's been spotlighted at the Covering Zoomers podcast. So he's, be, he's basically saying that, you know. That well, I, I receive, yes, I do. I receive a lot of positive support and everything, but that it requires work. Like, I didn't just show up and say, okay, here I am, and people do this, or like they spotlight me at coverings, or they do this or do that. It requires work. So, there is, I made some notes, like, there's nothing stopping these other women who have worked for X amount of years to do the same thing that I do. There's nothing, and I openly welcome it, because for our industry to get more known for the next generation, they need to know what we do. They need to know what we're about. The next generation isn't on Facebook, and they're not in the groups. They're on other social media platforms. They're not watching TV. They're not reading magazines. They're not reading letters that they get in the mail, and they're not reading emails. The title industry is still using print ads. Yeah, like you need to... You're 15 years behind. You need to go to where those people are. And no one is doing it. There's a select few who are on TikTok. There's a select few who are on Instagram. There's a select few who outwardly go out and seek to, to sh just spread the knowledge of what is a tile center. You know, like... That's what I'm doing. And I, if these other women that you speak about want to do that, they can. There's nothing stopping them. Just because I'm here doesn't mean they can't do it. Hell, if I can do it, that definitely means they can do it. Because they have the years that I don't have. 90% of the time, I'm freaking learning as I go. The problem is, is that they're doing the same thing everybody else is doing. You know, they're, they're stuck standing in line because they're afraid of this very thing. That's the problem. They're afraid of this thing. They don't want to get out there and be treated this way. Nope. So I'm not keeping anybody down. Hell, if I'm doing it, that means they have more of a chance to do it too. They know more than me. Come on now. What kind of statement is that? You know, like, think about it. I've been here a year. Two years. Whatever. You know, like... Stop doing the same thing and, and expecting to see do different Do the results. work. Like, we go to work, we set tile, and then we spend hours in this office. We don't eat dinner till 11, 12 o'clock at night. Editing content. This is Monday through Sunday. This is all the time. It's a never-ending job. Um, let me see. Their their Instagram numbers are lower. Well, then they, like I said, that just goes with. They're doing the same thing. They're, they're taking a picture of their do, work. Do the work. Like every other do. single tile setter, and expecting to go viral. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen. You need to make yourself stand out. It's marketing one on one. If people don't know who you are, they can't buy from you. You want to run a business, be the face of your business. It's very simple things that, that have led us to be, to be successful. And this isn't even success. Yeah. You people just think it's a success. And I apologize. I'm very, um, you know, I'm very passionate about this industry and about what we're doing. And to have people try to, try to bring it down in this way, it's, it's just disgusting to me. Comparing her to other females. She doesn't have the experience. She doesn't. But together, we thought outside the box. You can do it too. Anybody can do it. And if you have the experience that I don't have, you're light years ahead. You just aren't doing it. And like, I, I don't, you hate me because you're not doing it. It just doesn't make, it makes no sense. And you're never going to get there um, by having that sort of mentality. I just want to check my notes because I made notes. I can think of all these time women who have worked for years to be recognized, mm -hmm. and because their Instagram numbers are lower, they have been passed over. So I'm going to be completely raw. It's because they haven't done anything different or anything special. Yeah. 
Or maybe some better. Right? You know, uh, women who do the job themselves. Uh, most videos I see with Shannon are her installing one tile or showing off free products. You know, um, Sean and whoever else, if you would just take a minute, she has a YouTube channel with videos, 45 minutes of her setting tile. Doing prep. Doing talking prep. Talking about it. Talking you about can't prep. Fake that. You can't fake it. You can't. Did she learn from me? Absolutely. But everybody has to learn somewhere. Just because I don't want to get in front of the camera doesn't take anything from what she does. Like I said earlier, we're a team, and without this team, we, th this wouldn't be here today. She is just as much the tile setter as I am. Half the time, I don't even set the tile because I don't, I don't have the patience for it anymore. I've been in the construction industry since I was 14 years old. I started in a cabinet shop. I went to work with my friend. We restored historic homes. I started my own business. I've been doing this for 15 years. She's been with me for almost seven. So just go, just, just, do, just do a little work, okay? I'm just asking you, go to her YouTube channel. Go follow her on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, ask one of your kids to, to follow that tile chick on Instagram. She posts stories every single day about the things that we're doing, uh, methods, tips, tricks, highlights other installers who are, who are doing something for this industry, unlike the other guys. So if you want to, oh, she only sets I mean, one picture is, or this or that, just go do the, just go look, man. All you got to do is Google search her name. You can find video upon video upon video upon, upon video. We go live. I, and my biggest thing is that I try to make sure that what I'm sharing is the correct information. I do research before I post a video or before we put something. Because to me, if I post something that is incorrect, I'm doing a disservice to everybody else in this industry who have came before me, whether or not you post on social or not. If, like, you know, then you guys are going to complain that, oh, well, you take information and then you just, like, regurgitate it. We give credit to every single one how many person times, who has came before. How many times did I mention Paul Lucia in my podcast, in anything, any written form of anything? Because he came and he helped us. He's the only person who showed up to help us. One person. And a lot of people have very bad things to say about Paul. So, I just, I don't get it, you know? Like, everything else, I have went out and I, I actively sought out the knowledge, you know? And I put it together and I use it on my jobs and we use it for our videos. And I try to condense the information that is easy for somebody who's new to understand. Because that's how you provide value to somebody. There's another, there's another secret to, to social media success. I'm going to give you the formula. Entertain, provide value, and educate. And post content. And be a good person. You'll, you will get followers, I promise, if that's what you want. But you need to answer people and put in the time, and you need to be posting content. I don't even post enough content. I have to post more. It's extremely difficult. Um, but I want to comment on this where he says... Um, like, no, like, that I, that I post tools. Like, I don't post tools. You go on my page, you don't see me reviewing tools. And I want to also mention that this is not success because I get free stuff or somebody sent me something. That something that somebody sent me isn't free. You want to know why? Because my page, I didn't wake up at, like, God didn't say, here you go, Shannon. You have these followers, and now all these companies are going to value your page. It's not free. I worked for it. I've already put in so many hours. So essentially, when they send me a free tool, it's actually not really free. It costs us more. It costs us more when I to have to drive own. 45 minutes yeah. to, a, to to pick up the tool because it was delivered by freight. Mm -hmm. It's not free, man. It's not free. So, like, I, I don't know why there, there's this mentality in this industry, like, you, you guys hold, like, getting swag and getting free tools to, like, this high, you know, oh, you must be successful, you're a celebrity, like, that's not success, man, like, my goals are way bigger than that, 
They can keep the free tool. I'll throw that free tool in the freaking garbage. I'll give it away. In fact, there's a girl who posted positively about me in Tile Mafia. She stood up. She's brand new. Nobody even knows who she is. And she wrote a long post about me, and they removed it. You want to know why? Because it's positive. But all the negative stuff is still there. That's, uh, that is so sad. That is so sad. She's in Houston, and I can guarantee you, I gave her my cell phone number, if she ever needs anything, she can come to my garage, she can take whatever the hell she wants and needs. Because that's what this community is about. I don't go out, and I don't brag about the shit that I have. I never have, and I never do. I cringe even thinking, should I even post this? I asked him six times, should I post this? Because people are going to be mad that I got this. It's ridiculous. And then I see other people posting, they got a free shirt. I won't even take free swag from people in the groups and post it because it's going to cause this big outlash. But other people do it every day, and it's fine. You have to be a certain person, and you have to be within the lines of what these critics say in order to be able to do it. It's so dumb. And it's super sad that they're mad that Shannon has gotten free shit. Like, the, like that's that's success to them. Yeah, that's like, sad. It's you're not sad. Success, man. You are very sad, you know. It's just not really success. sad. It's a pain in the ass. Like, it's not success. I'm not like, wow, like, this is great. I want, I'd rather pay for my own tools. You don't know anybody anymore. Like. We don't even take free tools. Yes. If you want to send us a tool... You're going to pay us because it takes time to create content with that tool mm -hmm. and use your product. Yes, and Matt says it's also claimed on your taxes as income. Correct. <laughs> it's more work to get the free tool than it is anything else. And a lot of people value it and it's great and all, whatever. I don't. So, like, while you're over there mad about the free tool, I'm mad I even got it in the first place. I don't want it. And, and, and just to clarify, those tools that were sent to us, they weren't free tools. So don't think that we're taking shit for free. There is a cost to it. We didn't have to pay for it, but there is a cost. So really, the last thing that I want to say is, I want to know why. I want I want to know why that industry reps, manufacturers, you know, anybody who runs a company, and within their company, they probably have a zero tolerance policy for bullying, sexual harassment, etc. If you are an industry rep, and you're in these groups, and you see this, and you do nothing, or you stay in the groups, um, or you participate, why? You know, I want to know why. If I own a company, a large company, these groups that commit these these vile, disgusting acts of harassment would be blacklisted for my company. Because it puts a poor look on my company that I have industry reps even in there. Yeah. It's disgusting. I don't care how much money you raise for charity. You think the Jews care that fucking Nazis that the Nazis raise money for charity? Now, I may be a little, a little dramatic, but it's the same thing. Jim Richards, Ian Gerberson, Sean, Sean, uh, Sean Roddy, why are you not here in this live? Where are you? I'll invite you in. You can, we can have a one-to-one. -one. Well, Sean said I wasn't mad. You were taking my... We know you're not mad. Uh, not, not Sean McLeod. No, I'm I talking know. about Sean Roddy. I just want to say that we know that you're not mad. No, no. Like, we're I not mad at you, Sean. I think your comment is great because it represents a lot of other things that people perceive but they don't understand you know so i think that your comment was perfect and there's nothing wrong with it like you know i don't i'm not trying to take it out of context it's just i think that a lot of people see this and that's what they think that's what they say to me so it and the way that you said it is very it's just very matter of fact and it's good so like i'm not trying to take it out of context i'm not mad you know i appreciate it you know there's a difference between being condescending and rude and somebody having like something constructive to say to me. Like, nothing wrong. Yeah. I'm not offended. Neither is Chris. Nope. I just thought it was an awesome comment and I wanted to highlight it because of that. So, you know, 
<laughs> if anybody wants to, to, to join in, I don't even know if you can and you want to say something, well, I will gladly let anybody join in. You can come in and say your piece. This is an open discussion. 100% open. I welcome. You know, we haven't seen any of these guys in, in here. Not one. Why is that? You know, and, 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 and again, oh, you just got to let it go. Haters will be... There is a line. There is a... There is a line. It's not hate. Like, there, it's seeing people continuous. Like, am I supposed to just not exist in these groups for the betterment of them? You know, I, my intentions are, are positive. I think that that's been made clear multiple times. Anybody who does know me knows that. So I don't understand why I should cease to exist. And people who are just bully, bullies and harassing why they should exist in these groups, why they should get the benefit of being a part of the groups and I shouldn't. You know, I was kicked out of Tile Mafia. Positive things were removed about me all because they praised the negativity. Why? Same thing with Tile Mafia. Why? I, like, I can't, I can't understand it because you don't like my post because you don't like that I have I get more likes than you on Instagram that's pathetic it's so stupid like I said I am nobody I just started anybody can do it like do you know how many times I did something so stupid at work come on like, stop being lazy and using it as an excuse it's so stupid if, if she got all this stuff just to, just because of her looks I'm telling you right now, man, we wouldn't be in the tile industry. No, I would be like posing in a bathing suit. This industry is savage. It's medieval. You're operating 15 years behind the curve. It's so dumb. And then everybody's, scr everybody's scratching their head. Huh, why can't we find people? Why do you think? So I want to talk about, there's an installer I'm really good friends with, uh, and um, she owns Lotus Tile. She has an employee, she treats an employee like gold. And she tells me about this all the time, and how she, you know, how, like her mentality of having this employee. And I think it's amazing, her philosophy on raising up this person into her industry, and um, like empowering that person to do more, be better, um, you know, holding her accountable, and just like being more than just an employer. You know, she is leading her into success within our industry, and it's, it's awesome. She's somebody who we all need to learn from. Of how, how, can we, how can we get our employees to want to show up to work every day, to be in a positive environment, be happy, and be excited to do the work? Um, you know, and I don't know because a lot of people aren't self-motivated. I'm pretty much self, I'm a self-motivated person. I don't need an outside source to motivate me, but a lot of people do. So if there's anybody watching who needs to know about how to treat an employee well, go check out Lotus Time. Ask her some questions because I've been learning a lot from her. And she, you know, I don't have an employee yet, but I want to have an employee. I want... I want to, my goal is to invest in real estate and fix the houses and use, use that as a way to have people come in and learn from my, using my money so that they can learn and that they can create a skill for themselves. Whether or not they want to be a tile setter or whatever they want to be, they can have that skill. Um, I think it's important. The trades are important to me. My dad's done it his entire life, and um, I, I just, I want to be able to pass that on. So that's my goal. I don't think I'm ready for that. I still have a lot of learning to do, so I'm growing as I go. But that's my goal. And, you know, this isn't success. This isn't, like, I haven't made it, guys. So it's really kind of where I want to leave it for this. Yeah. Other than that, I'm just going to be rambling. You know, I, <clears throat> Sean said, you know, what? how can we make this positive? Um, this is positive. 
I can't make it positive. That's how you got, you know, I'm going to apologize if I got a little um, heated. You know, this is, this becomes personal. You, you guys aren't here to see how this affects her. You don't deal with it. Not that I have to deal with it. But I'm here to support her. What if this was some, some young girl that doesn't have the support and she winds up hanging herself and you see it on the fucking news? Because of some fucking idiot like Ian Gerberson. Or whoever else. It's the repeated and continuous harassment that is just... It's not and there's a line. There really is a line. Imagine somebody goes and screenshots a picture of your wife and calls them a cum bucket in a, in a private setting, in a private forum, where there's industry professionals in who know you. You want to make this positive? Stand up. Yeah. Do something about it. I'm talking to every single one of you, from the, the apprentice to the CEO. The, 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 rep, the reps that are in those groups, you, you're supporting those groups. You're supporting that behavior. You're supporting that behavior. It's clear as day. You want to do something positive? You want to end this on a positive note? Make a stand for yourself. And if you're an least. admin, just have a zero tolerance policy. It's really simple as that. You know who the troublemaker makers are in the group. Why should they benefit if they aren't adding anything positive to anything that you're doing? And they can't act with um, just common sense, really, because I don't know where else it could possibly be. They're grown-ups. Like, they know what they're doing. And, um, you know, like, there is no excuse. Like, you know what you're doing. So stop lying and acting like, oh, you know, um, what's this? Mark Simonelli. Oh, I only took the screenshot to, to talk about her height. Like, you know what you did, man. Like, you're how old? I, I, I don't, I, I just don't, I don't know. Um, you know, I do want to highlight people who, since the beginning, because, you know, there's a lot of negativity talk here, but, you know, since the beginning, there have been a lot of people that have shown positive support towards Shannon and towards me now that I'm a little bit more in the fold. And, you know, we are forever, we will do anything for you guys. I just want to name a couple people personally from, from the other day on the thread who had the, the balls to stand up and, you know, and about for what was right. Um, Kristen Blanchard, who was a good friend of us. Michael Santoro. Jay Cordiero. Greg Toro. Jason Porter. David Swim. And J.E. E. Bu uh, Bu Buchanan. Buchanan. Those are examples of people who stood up. And now, like I said, I've been in the, in the construction industry since I was about 14 or 15. I get what, F I, what fucking Friday is about. But there is a line. And you crossed it, and you should all be ashamed. You're a black eye to this industry. I don't care how, mu how much money you raise for a foundation or charity. And to the industry reps that are posting in these groups, you're just as bad. You support it. You enable it. Yeah, and I think that it's 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 tough to navigate because you can't manage the internet. Yeah, but Ron, it, it's common sense. <laughs> yeah. If you represent a company, it's common sense. Yeah. You don't go into a thread and make a comment where they call another tile installer in your profession a cum bucket, or a whore, or a hooker. You stay away. Yeah, avoid it. I mean, it's it's like. So. That's just my, you know, that's my take. It's common sense. You know, and people are going to say, oh, well, common sense isn't too common. Well, then they shouldn't have the job. Yeah. They should find another job. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't be representing their company in, online. You no. know? Like, in I, any I, capacity. I, at all. <laughs> Zero. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and Shauna from GoBoard, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I sent her a message. 
to ask her what her problem is with me and why she feels the need to uh, spread lies that I attacked her. Um, anybody can go on the Tile Money group, search my name, search her name, see the exchange or conversation we had about um, pricing. Um, yeah, and you can see, I mean, anybody, I'm open to criticism. Tell me what you think because that conversation stemmed from me responding to another installer's comment about pricing. And then she decided to comment to me. And then it got personal. I, you know, that's unprofessional. And then to go into a group where the threat is specifically harassing and bullying me. And then sexually, <laughs> sexually harassing. And then make a comment like, It's poor judgment. Yeah. You know, everyone's trying to make us out to be the bad yeah, guys. Because you know, I stood up. Jim Richards that. goes on her her personal page because she posted about what happened and tries to defend the Tile Mafia and the actions. Sean Roddy did the same thing. Ian Gerberson was nowhere to be found. I think I said this already. Um, there's still nowhere to be found. You want to you want to make an apology? Make a public apology. And don't allow, don't allow that stuff. Remove those people from your groups. Like, you know. And I, like, I also want to mention there's been other people who stood up for me in the past and currently. Zach, you know. Ken, Fallen. And, and not only that, but these people send me messages like trying to help me because they they know that you know regardless of how strong somebody might seem like it it hurts you know and they have kids and they care and like I don't know. it's just not right it's up in the group now and I personally message you Yeah, so Sean said, if five people go away from this with a better awareness, then it's a success. And that's exactly the point. You know, I knew that doing this, I was going to get people telling me, oh, you know, you're feeding into it or whatever. But like I said, this is a, these are private groups that we're a close-knit group of people. And there's a lot of exchange of information all of the time. It's not like my public Instagram where, like, if somebody posts something negative or totally disrespectful, I block them. It doesn't happen here. The only way to avoid it is for me to get out of the groups, and I don't think that that's fair. Um, because, like I said, there's a lot of positive things that come from the groups. So, um, with that being said, I just think that the admins should, you know, the admins really need to start taking accountability and doing their job. If not, you shouldn't be an admin. It's really simple. And if the excuse of not seeing the post is just BS. Because especially in Tile Mafia, how many posts are there a day? Not a lot. So, I mean, unless, of course, that's about me in a negative way, and then there's like, you know. 200 comments. <laughs> things go crazy. And, you, you know, Jim said it's up in the group now. I'm assuming an apology. And, and I'm not even in the group. I was kicked out, so I can't say. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll get a screenshot of it. But, um, and a personal message, you personally messaged you. You know, that's fine, Jim. You know, you can apologize, but don't apologize to Shannon or me. Yeah. Like, it's a black eye on the industry. You, you, you're embarrassing the industry. We're, we're grown-ups. Imagine somebody calling your, your, your wife a hooker in public. What would happen to them? Just think about that for a minute. You know, social media... You know, the computers, you know, a lot of people say shit they wouldn't normally say in, in person because it would get them punched in the face. People have no respect, no integrity to, to another human being, and it's sad. So if you want to apologize, apologize to, to the industry because it's a black eye for this industry, the one that we, you know, are supposedly all working together to try to make better. This isn't better. We're better than the fact that we got to waste an hour out of our day to come in here and address this. It's sad. You know, I, I, 
I don't know if anybody has any any questions or comments. Um, you know, there's 81 people watching, so you know now's the time to to, to send your feedback. If you have anything to say, uh, you want to ask us any questions, we'll, we'll answer. Well, I think Mark we're, we're Mark being real. Simonelli actually um, commented. Is he, yeah, where is he? Uh, there he is. I had no idea how could I. It was supposed poking fun at her height. Well, um, if, you, when it started to go sideways, you could have deleted it, right? Um, if you didn't have any ill intent, you could have deleted it. I know you got every single one of the notifications. notifications. So 200 notifications. I, I don't know what you're. You trying. could have deleted it. Um, Jim Richards could have deleted it. Ian Gerberson could, could have deleted it. Sean Roddy could have deleted it. They didn't. You didn't. There's no excuse. And it's, it's not like it happened over three days. It was in a matter of six hours. If you can't handle a group, you shouldn't run a group. Make t-shirts instead. Just make t-shirts. Don't do anything else. You know, I have no ill will towards anybody. I would invite any single one of you into my home and help any way we can. Ask anyone who knows us personally. Oh, here's another excuse. I could have. I don't spend all day looking at comments on a post around this. Mark, I have this. I have the entire thread, dude. You were posting throughout the entire thread. So you were on Facebook all day. <laughs> dude, just stop making excuses. It's it's over. Just admit it. Like, it's Take accountability. <laughs> That's the problem today. Nobody wants to be accountable for what they do. And when somebody stands up, they're turned into a victim. I mean, turned into into a, a villain. Yeah. I'm, I'm wrong because I, I, I addressed it. Okay. No. Yeah. It's the same thing that happened with, with Tile Geeks and Justin Kyle. Another, another, and that was one that we turned the other cheek to. That's what, that's what it gets us. He, Christopher, wanted me so badly to address it, just like we're doing now. And I decided not to because... Regardless of those admins in that group, um, regardless of the, my view of them now, I still respect them. And um, I decided not to do it because I know that they have businesses and they are very well known in the industry and I didn't want to do that to them, even though they were fine with doing it to me. So that was my reason. And I guess I shouldn't have because it really didn't get me anywhere. And like, you know, everybody, like, that's the problem. I always want to be the better person or the bigger person, but it doesn't get me anywhere. All it does is get me kicked out of a group that I value, and then... It makes you look like an asshole. It makes me look like the asshole, and then there's people who, then when I'm kicked out, then people talk more about me and make up things. And it's not, not right. It's just not right. So... Like, like I said, imagine if it was someone who had maybe some, some self-esteem issues, or they didn't have the support that Shannon has. And, and, you know, it, it, ain't, it ain't funny. There's kids killing themselves over online bu bullying. Like, you think, you think it's a joke. And if you want new installers and the next generation to come into this industry, you better understand they're not going to do what your granddaddy did. It's a different era, man. I'm going to be 34 years old. I still don't understand how to work at work the TikTok. Mark. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I educate myself and learn to change and adapt because if you don't, you will die. Mark who? Scroll down. Scroll down. Are you still an admin in a retail group where the guy running it is a racist and a homophobe? Says who? That's an opinion. That's your opinion. What does that even have? What does this even have? What are you going to try to dox us now and say because we're in another group we're racist and homophobes? Actually, I'm not. I'm not an admin anymore because because Zach removed everybody else who was an admin because he didn't want anybody else to get dragged into his crap. Simple. I am friends <laughs> with a, a wide variety of people. I am. We are friends with homosexuals. We are friends with white people, Hispanic people, black people, Asian people, liberals, 
Republicans, if you're a good human being, we want to be around you. Pathetic comment, Mark. Real pathetic, man. You're just really showing your true colors. He's just mad. It's okay. Still, like, refuses to just, like, admit it, but it's okay. Yeah. Like, he has to bring up somebody not even related to the topic to justify what he did. Like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. A completely separate issue. Somebody else's issue about something on social media. Good chat. Somebody says, I coach kids. Scroll up. Keep going. I coach kids in hockey and talk about bullying all the time and the effects. Talking about it needs to be normalized like this so people who are being bullied have a voice. Correct. That's my point. I'm not some, like, you know, Mother Teresa, but I have support, right? Like, Chris always lifts me up. There's other people who lift me up and support me. There might be somebody who doesn't have that support. What happens then? I don't, you know, what happens then to them? Every single day they get up, they have to think about that. It's just, you know, and there was, when I first started and people were making, like, they were going nuts about my clothes and my shorts and stuff, like, I went out to try to, like, get different clothing and, like, I was like, I would get dressed and I would ask Chris, like, hey, is this okay? And he's like, what do you mean is it okay? She looks more professional on the job site than 99% of you motherfuckers do. I can guarantee you that. She, she's more professional than me. I go to work in, in gym shorts and a t-shirt. Because okay. I like to be comfortable. So, like, and he's like, are you really, like, worried about what people are going to say? Like, you look fine. Stop. You know? And somebody might not have that. And, you know, that that kind of, that kind of is really sad. So, I just put this out there that... If you're being bullied... You're I don't care if you're female or male, like, because a lot of people in that thread that's still up in Tile Mafia, um, they're talking about how, like, I'm talking about female versus male. Like... You know, when I first started, I was this kind. I was this person who was like, "Sexism doesn't exist." I denied it. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Paul, at work, I dress like I'm homeless. <laughs> this is actually me dressed up for a lot. Yeah, he actually put real clothes on. Usually, he's wearing like some stretched out stuff. But, you know, like, um, what was I saying? That have people who don't have a support system. No, I was going to say something else. I don't know. It's just, it's sad that we even, you know, I'm going to say it again, that we even have to do this. Um, and again, I, you know, this isn't about addressing. Wait, Mark, hold on. You want to get here and rant about when it's faced towards you. I don't agree with what was said, but take a spoonful of what you were trying to sell here. What, are, what am I trying to sell? Can you just elaborate, Mark? Because like I appreciate that you're here in this live. I just want to know what is what is it that we're trying to sell? Oh yes, James. Yeah, I was talking about sexism. Um, I was I completely denied sexism altogether, um, and I never highlight it. I never say, like, oh, I'm a woman in the industry, I'm this, I'm that. I just am a woman and I'm here. Like, that's it. And I try to make it like that because I'm not going to conform so that other people are okay. Um, I don't show up in a bathing suit or inappropriate clothing. I wear clothing that is appropriate for where I am. I'm in Texas. It was 80 degrees yesterday. Today it's cold. So it's just like I don't. I don't, I'm not going to conform so that other people are okay. When you start doing that, that means that you're being pushed into a specific corner, which is the same reason why everybody feels the need to um, stand up for these other women who are in our industry that don't get quote-unquote highlighted. But in reality, there's nothing stopping them besides their own fear of being put through something like this. So let me just see. 
Hold on. So Mark said, read my comment above that one. Let me try to find it. So I guess it's this one. You support and are friends with despicable people who also say very hateful, hateful things to other people. Who is that? Like, you know, who is that? If you're talking about Zach, what does he have to do with any of this? And also, if you are talking about Zach, which I'm assuming because you are talking about racist people and that you were talking about as soon as I said it, um, you decided to bring up his issue. Again, it's a matter of opinion. And all the stuff that has been circulating around about him is something that happened on TikTok. Something that I don't even know all the details to. But I do know for a fact, and I will say, and I've said it many times, that I don't agree with what happened to him. And I don't think that it's okay. To anybody. You know, people take, people take snippets like they do to me out of videos and comments, etc., etc., and they put it online and they try to use it against him. And it's not right. So, regardless, I don't. I still don't understand what that has to do with this. He's just. He's just deflecting. Like that's what people do. What does that have to do with what you did? Make that make sense for me. It has nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with what he did. Ill intention or not. Because I right? mentioned Zach because he stood up for me. He posted a video yesterday and, and said something about it. That's fine. He's free to do whatever he wants. Just as you're free to do whatever you want. But when you get called out on it, don't be a baby. Don't be a baby. Own it. Mark, was Zach one of those pop piece of shit insulting Shannon? If not, why bring him up? No, John Hayes. Zach wasn't. Zach um, posted a video... Actually, back when the Tile Geeks thing happened, Zach invited me to be an admin of his group, um, the Misfits. And something happened with him outside of Facebook, and it, you know, it got really bad. So he, I'm not an admin in his group anymore, and I don't think anybody else is. I'm pretty sure he removed everybody as admin, and the only thing I can conclude is that he didn't want anybody else to get roped in. Um, but I mentioned Zach because he supported me. Um, whether like whether or not anybody on here likes him or not, that's a matter of fact. That's what he did. Um, and now Mark is calling him a racist and a homophobe. <laughs> so. We were talking about people saying hateful things on social media. Hmm? You were talking about people saying hateful things on social media. You are talking about people saying hateful things on social media. Okay. I'm talking about people saying hateful things on social media directly to us. Chris, as we both sit here and have a dip, you two keep doing you and keep standing up. Kodiak, baby. No, I know Zach. I know Zach did it. That's my point. Mark is just trying to sway the attention off himself. That's fine. You can sway all he wants, you know? All you got to do is own up to it and say, you know, man, it was, you know, I had no in ill intention and, you know, I'm sorry that happened. You may have said that already, but just let it go, bro. Yeah. We can forgive. I won't forget, but we can forgive. You know, and just, just try to be better. Be a better person. That's all we, that's, you know. Our, our motto here is quality wins in life, in everything you do. If you're going to be a hamburger flipper, be the best fucking hamburger flipper you can be. If everybody just did that little bit, the world, and even, even in the micro world of this industry, it would be a better place. Mm -hmm. Aaron, I know you said check my phone. My phone is being used for the live right now, so as soon as we, we're done, I'll, I'll check it. Um, you know... Um, I don't really think there's much left to say other than, you know, I want to 
I want to thank everybody who has been supportive. You're the reason we're still here. Um, and I mean that 100%. Because there have been times, six months, a year in, where she's questioned even continuing on. And a lot of you are the reason why she still is here. Chris, this isn't the first time people have been savagely attacking Shannon since the day she got online in this industry, attacking people who support her or defend her, myself ostensibly attacked and my job threatened. And it's only continued and now you are present in front of the camera and it's both of you now. And it's the same names every time, the same ones, exactly. It's always the same people. Mm -hmm. And they're still allowed in this circle. Yeah, like, they're still allowed here. And that's my point of saying, you know, if you don't take a stand, you're, you, you just become part of the problem. And it just keeps growing. And it grows, and then we ignore it, and it grows, and then it comes, then we're kicked out of another group. And But the, the people who are the problem starters, they stay. So I don't have a right to be there, but they do. What sense does that make? When I have good intentions, and you can see that from my posts, you can see that with everything that I produce, that I have good intentions. And I don't ever act that And then Ron, the larger your audience gets, the more you will deal with the fringe of society. The Absolutely. Hateful, stupid. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, this here, I'm doing this on Facebook, not on Instagram, not on TikTok, because it's the groups, you know? Like I said, I value them to a degree. Um, because without them, I wouldn't have been able to do certain things that I do today. I wouldn't have been able to meet the people that I've met, people I talk to, you know? Ron, for example, you know? You don't have access to people like that within a company um, on Instagram. I wouldn't have been able to build a relationship. So it's it's definitely beneficial, and I think that everybody in our industry needs to capitalize on that and use them for what they're meant for, um, and not for this other side bar BS that people accept and allow. It's not okay. Let's see. Do you want to be TikTok famous or tile installer? Who is that? Jacob. We're here to answer everybody's questions, so. Good or bad? Do you want to be TikTok famous or a tile installer? Me personally, I'd rather be locally recognized than Facebook recognized. You know, that's a good comment because. Yeah. Not you know, everybody wants to do social media. No, not everybody wants to do social media, but, you know, it's in your best interest and the best interest of your business. And I say this all the time. If people don't know who you are, they can't buy from you. The more people who know who we are, the more jobs we can sell. The more opportunities that you create for yourself. And social media is the, is the wave of the future. Look at Instagram, look at Facebook, look at TikTok. There's 15 year olds becoming millionaires on TikToks because they're being paid by these big companies. Nike, Adidas, the There's NFL, MLB. There's people now who don't even run their own page. They get paid by companies to run the company's page just because they know how to use social media. So the, instead, the company just invests in them to run their page. Um, it's a whole industry with multiple layers to it. Um, but not like you said, not everybody wants to do that, right? And that's fine. It's totally fine. Like, like there's a lot of people who, are, who have a good following on social media, but it's very local. And that's great. That's important too. Um, but just because you don't want to be social media famous or you don't want to make a lot of content, you don't want to you know, reach the masses and do other things, it doesn't mean that you're less than me. Like, I just have other goals. My goals are just different than yours, and that's totally cool. Um, my goal is I want to have a plan, like I want to be able to retire one day, I want to grow my my business, I want to be able to grow my income, I don't want to stay the same for 30 years. So I have a different plan, a different goal. Um, and, and everybody's goal is going to be different. Not only that, you know, you know, people crack on her for being a tile celebrity and an influencer. I'm really not. Every single one of you who are in these groups and you post a picture of a new product that you use and you like, you are an influencer. 
you are going to influence the people in that group based on your opinion because maybe they respect you. Maybe they know you've been doing tile for 15 years. So take a seat. You are the same. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that you are doing it for free. And you see, you perceive that as success, and that's fine. But don't tell me that I've gained some sort of success and this enlightenment, and I'm sitting on some gold throne um, because I get some products or I get a tool. It's not that. I don't see it as that. You know, I appreciate that you put me so high up and, you know, you see me up there, but to me, I'm in the dirt. You got a long way to go, man. This shit's just started. I mean, <laughs> yeah, a long way to go. You know, with that being said, I just want to kind of retract. I don't think anybody really has much to say anymore. Yeah. Um, you know, I do want to highlight, again, the positivity that we have received from this group. But just remember, you know, people only remember the bad shit. You know, and, and nobody wants to remember bad things. We want to remember good things. The only reason it's being brought up today is because, you know, there, there, there's a time and a place to ignore, and there's a time and a place to stand up. We're not just standing up for us. We're standing up for fu the future. Because it will happen again. Mm -hmm. I would bet every single dollar I have in my bank account, which isn't much, <laughs> that it will happen again. Mark my words. Jason McDaniel will have to do a live in his his thing about about it. Uh, Ken Ballin will have to remove a comment from one of his groups about it. Because it won't happen again. Maybe that person won't be strong enough to continue on. James is asking, are there any decent tile groups on Facebook? Yes, Tile of 2.0, Learning Solars of America, GTP. Um, those are locked by some great people. Um, those are just top. Mm -hmm. we, we, we actually have a Facebook group for people who want to learn about being creative mm -hmm. and what it takes and how to do it. We, we, we lay out the entire thing. It's another form of income that you can add to your arsenal. But it takes work. You have to take it on the chin for a little while. You know, a year, a year, in, I was like, this is a waste of my time. I want to focus on working. You know, I want to focus on setting tile. I want to focus on that. And I kept saying that to Chris. And he's like, we just started. You can't expect this to, like... It ain't going to happen overnight. Happen overnight, you know. And, like, a year is not a lot. But a year is a long time when, like, you're putting a lot of extra time. Like, we don't go out on dates. We don't go out drinking. We can't go, you know, extra income is spent on buying you know, tools to create content. It's like, ugh, you know. Um, it was frustrating, but... But if you continue to put in the work, it allows you to be put in a position of, um, you know, just a better position overall. We work less. We make more. We can be selective about the jobs we take. We can take our time and, and give a 110% humanly perfected install. I'm not saying that we're the best, no. but we do the best job that we absolutely can every time we walk into somebody's house. And the same thing goes for creating content. Yeah. So for those of you who are wondering, oh, you guys can think, be thinking about it. No, we're just getting this out of the way so we can continue about it. It needed to be addressed, so that's why we're, we're dressing down on this. Um, because I want to be a part of the community. I want to be a part of these groups. I want to be a part of the good that they are doing. So that's why I want to say something, because it puts a negative you know, feeling that I don't even want to partake. And um, Not just you, though. How many messages have we got about people saying, well, you know, this is the exact reason I don't post in those groups? 
it, it is what it is. I mean, I get, you know, you weed out the good with the bad. And you associate with you, associate with whatever. But. Yeah, if there, it, you know, if there are any, any uh, industry company, manufacturer, reps, whatever, watching this, you know, just, just think about this. I know this is a long live, but like, think about how you re represent your company in, when you're in one of these groups and this kind of shit is going on. It don't look good. It really don't look good. I don't care if you're just posting a selfie of, of yourself in there with the group swag. It's not a good look, man. It wouldn't make me want to associate with that company, that's for damn sure. I think that we touched everything that we needed to. Yeah, I'm going to give it another minute. Um, Virgil Ward, uh, I think it would be very, very wise not to live your relationship online. I'm happy for you. I really do. I like fuck the rest. Be happy. No, and you know, Virgil, that's a uh, that's another thing <clears throat> that has been a struggle for us is that you know we work so much that we don't take time for ourselves, and it's it's mainly my fault. I'm a, I'll work sun up to sundown. I'll be here at this desk on a Saturday or Sunday for ten hours, and you know that's something else that you need to learn, and I need to learn how to balance and be better about is taking time to step away from work because time passes you by like that, you know, and, uh, you know, it's a promise I made to Shannon is that I, you know, I need to be, be a better um, partner outside of, of just this work. And I think that's something everybody can, can something everybody can, can, can try to aspire to be better about. Good morning from Melbourne. Good morning. Good morning. I'm coming to visit. Put another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> Mark Do you Sim drink BB long necks? Mark Simonelli's still going. You're part of a group where the guy running is famous for shaking hands with him. Okay. <laughs> whatever you say, Mark, man. You're 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 entitled to your opinion. You know. Whatever you want. This is our opinion. You don't have to listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Not everybody's gonna agree with what we're saying, and that's fine. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Doesn't bother me much. So, I think everybody gets the point of this and understands. Um, Melbourne bitter long necks, baby. You. <laughs> I love Australians. <laughs> Hilarious. Mark, you just don't address it. There's nothing to address, Mark. We don't condone hateful behavior. That's it. If Zach has said hateful behavior, more than likely, I will not condone it. I don't know what he does. He doesn't live in my household. I'm too busy trying to work to make a future for us to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Maybe you should try it too. But instead, you want to come on here, not take accountability for what you did and your actions. And, and instead, start talking about somebody else who has nothing to do with it. And instead, trying to paint, paint us as closet racists because we're a part of a tile group. And him being a racist is a matter of opinion, so I don't really care. All I know is that Zach has supported me on more than one occasion. And it speaks for something. Regardless of your opinion of Zach, that's my opinion of Zach. And that's the only opinion I have. Austin's call, you get swag because you're new and a chick. I don't get swag, actually. Not one group has ever sent me swag. So, okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> what else did he say? Um, you look like an idiot, buddy. Okay, Austin. I don't know if he's talking about you. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just reading the comments. I didn't say or do anything. What exactly are you could know? I'm sorry, because you're new. 
Dude, the problem is, is the guys who don't get swag, they don't put themselves out there. Go to an industry event. Go to a tile shop training where Ardex participates. You'll get swag. I promise you. I've been to them. And there was like four of us. I walked away with like five buckets, 70 sponges, mixers. You want to know why? Because the guys didn't take the time to go. And then you're mad. Put in the work. If all you care about is a hat and a t-shirt, like... I don't even know what to say to that. Like, there's more to life than swag, right? like, <sighs> It's dumb. They never have shirts in a men's small. No, and they never have shirts in me my size either. They're always too big. So. Anyway, thanks for... Uh... Thanks for stopping in. I think we should probably end this because, yeah. you know, there there's, still su there's still 65 people watching. Anyway, um, I've been doing tile 11 years. Y'all are causing drama. We didn't cause anything, Austin. Man, <laughs> like, go back, like, do some education, man. We didn't cause anything. I'm causing drama. We were attacked on the home front. <laughs> they called Shannon a hooker. What do you want me to do? You want me to just ignore it, man? You have a wife? I don't even know. Do you have a wife? Let me call her a hooker, man. Whatever. You know, like, if you don't get that, I'm not, like, I'm just wasting my, my, my precious oxygen here. You know? No, and you're right, Dan. You can't please everyone 100% of the time, and we know that, man. And that's fine. Not, like I said, not everybody's going to like us, and that's okay. We're not for everybody. But we can take a stand and, and stand up for the people that do and the people who don't have a voice. We have a voice. I could go on my, on my, on, on, on my personal Instagram and, and do a rant. It's going to be seen by three people. It's why we're doing it here. Thanks, Adam. Adam, Adam Wilson <clears throat> of Latta Creek, right? Mm -hmm. Day one supporter. My favorite rep. One of my favorite reps. Um, I can't say my favorite no, rep. No, 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 you got Kristen other reps in here. <laughs> Sheesh. Making enemies on this live. I know. <sighs> All right, uh, Pat, thanks for, thanks for stopping in, man. Like I said, we appreciate your support. Um, you know, and Mark Simonelli's still going, mm -hmm. and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. You can't, you can't reach everybody, and that's okay. Yeah, this has been a, uh, I hope this has been an enlightening life for, for people. Um, you know, everybody sees what's going on on the surface. Uh, you know, you don't see what happens when, when the camera's turned off or you log out of your Facebook. Um, people have real lives, you know, they have feelings. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised at how somewhat calm I was able to remain. I'm, I'm you know, I can be a patient man, but there is, there is a limit. And when I see my significant other hurting because of what other people have said about her, in more than just a critical way, it makes me very mad and upset because I don't want to see her hurt. I don't think anybody wants to see their their loved one hurt. So just you know, I shouldn't even have to say this. You know, just try to remember what you're saying when you're typing out of your keyboard in your home office or you know wherever your mom's basement. The problem is, I feel like a lot of these people, they maybe were bullied when they were young or something like that. So, like, now they feel empowered to do it to someone else, I guess. But, <coughs> I don't know. Like, I was, bullied a, I was bullied a lot when I was younger. A lot. And, um, I would never want anybody to feel that way. So, I would never do that to somebody. I don't care how much I don't like you. I just won't talk to you. Block you. Move on with my life. And, I mean, how hard is that? 
it's really not hard because they don't affect my life. If you don't, if I don't like you for something, then like I'm not going to engage with your posts, talk about you, comment, harass you. For what? What is that getting me? You know, I don't have the time, the energy, or the will to do that to somebody. It just doesn't matter to me. And, it, and just to point out, this is me being petty. Of the people, the list we, we wrote off, we read off here, um, there's been two in this live. Mark Simonelli, who, who started the post, and uh, Jim Richards, and Jim Richards. Everybody else who contributed to that, they are not here. They have an opportunity to speak. I reached out to them on Shannon's personal post on her Facebook. Not one of them answered. Me. So that's me putting it out there. You know, you have an opportunity to speak. And Mark, you're not wrong. You know, yeah, you should have. You probably should have deleted the post when you saw it getting a little out of hand. And that's fine. You didn't. You know, that's your choice, and that's okay. You didn't delete it. And the admins, you know, uh, they didn't delete it either, even though it violated rule number four of Tile Mafia. No degrading or no degrading. What is it? Rule number four of the group that Fridays can post anything as long as it isn't de degrading. I don't know. I, I think that post was a little degrading. So, you know, it was a failure all around. Yeah, same thing. Same thing with tile. Tile. Except instead, they go on and they make a a, a, <laughs> collective. a collective post from the admins about how Shannon provokes and incites negativity in their group when all she does is post positive stuff. So you know those those admins, they're guilty too. Every single one. Of them. So completely false. The entire statement was false. Anyway, I'm going to call this quiz. Yeah. If anybody, a, cu a couple of people are like, what's the story? Um, just go back in the beginning. I like did a quick recap. I highlighted the message, the comments that were made to me and et cetera, et cetera. So just go back and watch like the first five minutes. I know this is very long and I apologize, but... If I keep going on, this is going to go on for like the entire day. So I don't want to repeat the story over and over again. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Um, and I hope that if at least this changes one person's mind to harass somebody online or be nasty. Or, 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 or take a stand to it. And, and, yeah, and like just move on with your life. You know, Jason always says, or Olaf. Like it's really so easy to do that. Um, it takes no effort. None. None at all. It takes no effort for me not to like say anything to people like you know. anyway but still at the end of the day everybody who we have listed like i don't have any personal ill will towards you like i really hope that um you know maybe you can understand a little bit better who i am and what i'm about um you know if it didn't change your opinion about me or maybe you hate me more that's okay too um but uh you know at the end of the day if you, want to, if you want to do social media or you want to be highlighted in any sort of way, like you have to do more than just setting tile and being there for 30 years. And if you want to learn, reach out. We will help you. Yeah. Like this helps our industry. A lot of people don't see it that way, but I do because the next generation is, that's where they are. They're on social media. They can't value what you do if you don't show them the value. So, um, you know. All of you who have more experience than me, females, males, whatever, um, you can definitely accept. It's, there's, there's audience <clears throat> there. So. And uh, just to end, I want to, I want to highlight again those who, who did stand up: Kristen Blanchard, Michael Santoro, Jay Cordero, Greg Tuareg, everybody in this, this live who has shown support, um, not for us, but for standing up for what's right. Uh, we, we love you and we appreciate you very much. You guys are going to be the change in the industry, not not these other guys. You know, it, it's going to the hate is going to die with them, hopefully. And I don't want to fail to mention um, Jay Cordero, Greg Torog, Jason Porter, David Swim, uh, J. E. Buchanan, 
uh, those who message Shannon privately, um, you know, we appreciate you and, and everything that you have done to support us and, you know, put us where we are today. Um, we couldn't have done it without anybody else. So, you know, while her and I are working in, in you know, the back room, without you guys, it's, you know, nothing. it's nothing. So. And I don't want to fail to mention Vicki from uh, Pagani and Sons, and I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, Vicki is the one who made the post in Thai Mafia, which was removed. She was trying to stand up for me. Um, she's new in the industry. She works with her husband as well. And she actually lives in Houston. So, um, like, that's things that are positive about these groups. Like, I didn't even know she existed. Um, and she decided, she doesn't even know me. And she decided to make a post, even though knowing she might be ripped apart for it. Luckily, they just removed it and they didn't, you know, drag her through the mud or say anything nasty. But, you know, she put herself out there. And I appreciate that. That's courage. Mm -hmm. That is true courage. Yeah. Especially like following what was said to me. That's big guts right there. Um, so I appreciate you, Vicki. Thank you very much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. And um, you know, I appreciate all of you. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't really have have much to add to that, um, other than that, you know, social media, Facebook groups, it, it's a powerful tool. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be here today without it. And if there's you other use people. it correctly, you can definitely do some awesome things. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate your time. Um, you know, I'm gonna apologize again if. Uh, I got a little heated, but you know, it it became a little personal for me, um, and I am a human. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a little bit better circumstances. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Adios, and have a good day. How do we end it? <laughs> how do we end it? <laughs> I don't know how to end a live. So I just hit the X.